hello guys welcome to my channel uh, today we will see how to use rps pro for supervised image classification so for this single uh, tutorial we are going to uh, class my landsat image using supervised image classification so first uh, we need to add our image i have already downloaded the landsat 9 image from usa uh, j6 rz explorer website so first uh, we need to add uh, the image i'm going to add only the uh, five four bands band two band three and uh, band uh, four and five so go to your folder and download your image uh, add your image to arcgis pro mm. Yeah, these are the bands and i have already uh, added my shape file i am going to classify for this uh, particular area so next we need to uh, composite this band or layer stack into one uh, rinse, uh, raster data set so to do so go to your uh, analysis and the toolboxes in the geo uh, processing toolbox search for composite ones composite bands and you are going to create a single raster data set from a multiple bands so here uh, in the input raster add all these uh, four bands band two three four and five select all uh, the bands and add raster name I'm uh, going to uh, leave as composite band and finally run your uh, process. So uh, the comp composite band is already created here. So we don't need uh, these bands. We can remove them from content. I'm going to cut or clip uh, this composite image using uh, our uh, shape file. So uh, again from this uh, geoprocessing tool search for uh, extract by mask extract by mask this one our raster will be the composite band and uh, our fissure will be the shape file and finally extract Yeah, this is our image that we are going to work uh, on or uh, classify the image. So uh, we can change the um, band combination, like we can display the image in RGB or using the color infrared. <coughs> you can change the symbology or the colors. So to classify the image using ArcGIS Pro, just select your image and go to this uh, imagery. In this tab, we create a classification wizard and the classification tools. So we are going to use this classification tools. First, we need to uh, create the training samples for uh, image classes or the uh, cl uh, land use or land cover classes. So first, select this training sample manager. So in this uh, window, we are going to create a new schema or we can modify this existing schema. So uh, you can just go to here and create a new schema. On this one, right click and uh, add new classes or we can edit the name of the schema. So just click this add new class and in this class we are going to give the uh, class name so i'm going to classify this image into five or four broad classes i have uh, built up areas farmlanders again uh, grasslanders 
in the some water bodies <coughs> and also have a forest cover or uh, vegetation lands so uh, i'm going to rename the forest class as water and the class value will be zero one and you can also change the color here you can also add a line in the description about this class there's uh, once we have finished just click this ok and again right click on the schema and uh, add class in the second name will be built up or uh, settlements and uh, you can give the value as 0 to color will be red one and uh, click ok add the new class and uh, give us uh, fa forest land forests and uh, the next is value zero three you can use the green <coughs> next will be for uh, farmlands zero four and my final class will be the grassland all shrublands zero five I'm gonna give this color for the glass yeah this is it so next we are going to select a representative sample for each class so we are going to select the class and uh, from this shape is just pick one of the shape and select uh, the representative samples for each class just uh, click on the shape and uh, make sure that we have selected the class and go to your image and zoom in properly and uh, you have to select uh, the pixels that shows the water body so in my image I have uh, some water body around this flooded area <coughs> These are floods. We can change the symbology to get better understanding about the image. So once we have selected the samples and select the old samples and the collapse them as water next is built up just select as a class and uh, go to your image and select the pixel that uh, correctly shows the built up area so here you have to uh, select maximum number of uh, pixels or maximum number of samples in order to get accurate classification Here I have selected all uh, the uh, samples or representative samples for each classes. Once we have completed your um, uh, sample collection, you have to save your schema. So uh, just click on this uh, save as. So I'm going to save it as uh, sample one in the save. Save and computer desktop in U S one. Yeah, once we are finished, uh, go back to this uh, classification, then classify. Here uh, we can select the classifier, we can choose support vector, k-means or nearest neighborhood, again maximum likelihood, 
like load in the ISO cluster so here I am going to use uh, a support vector machine we can also use random 3 or random force classifier so select uh, support vector machine classifier training samples you have uh, to add this uh, training samples that we have created earlier <coughs> go to your folder refresh it this one yeah so here we have to fix the maximum number of samples per classes so if you use a large number of uh, uh, samples per class it takes you much time so for this tutorial i'm going to use only uh, 30 and uh, if you have segmented image that shows the uh, each classes you can add it or you can leave it uh, as it is and specify your output location and output name finally you can uh, run uh, your process so uh, the classification is completed here we have our classified image <coughs> whatever it is or the flooded area like this and we have built up area this central city part again we have forests forest coverage again we have uh, grasslands <coughs> and uh, finally this is all about uh, the classification or image classification using arcgis pro we can render or change the symbology of uh, this uh, classified image Okay, this is all about my tutorial and the next uh, video I will show you how to perform the accuracy assessment of this classified image and uh, thank you for your time and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share my uh, video. Uh, thank you again. See you in the next tutorial.